Oh boy, here we go again. So Variety put out this article um, a few hours ago, yesterday actually, it was yesterday when they put the article out, and it's about the all-female 2016 Ghostbusters reboot, director Paul Feig, or Feig, I think it's called Paul Feig, he said uh, that the all-female reboot was a victim of 2016's anti-Hillary movement, which actually... That information had come out a couple of days earlier where the article was kind of clickbaity in that it said that Paul Feig blames the 2016 presidential campaign on the, on the uh, problems with Ghostbusters 2016. It's mind-blowing to me because we always hear these stories come about once in a while. The most recent example was the Charlie's Angels fiasco where you have these filmmakers who put out a movie... And the movie receives either it doesn't do well financially or it gets some kind of, you know, some kind of flack or some kind of criticism. And rather than actually taking that criticism to heart and thinking, okay, well, I made a movie that did not resonate with some people. Not everyone's going to like your movies. They instead blame the fans or they blame some kind of outside source for a movie not performing well. And to me, it's just... There's so much, there's such a, a confirmation bias here, and there's so much of a fallacy with this, and it's it's kind of irritating. And whenever I have a, whenever I read an article about a director saying this, it makes me lose respect for them. You know, Paul Feig has made some funny stuff in the past, right? The problem with Ghostbusters 2016, right? You can sit there and talk about how the movie has this sort of anti-male narrative and. It has a lot of woke uh, stuff and all this stuff that people have talked about to death that I'm quite frankly sick of. But the reality is when you break all that down, no matter how offended a person might be that the movie is pro-female or anti-male or whatever, the reality is that Paul Feig made a film that is just not funny and not entertaining. Now, there are parts of the movie that are funny. The actresses in the film, I think, have a lot of charisma. Right, And we've seen them on other stuff like other movies, SNL, where they do show their charisma. You know, they're talented comedians. But the movie itself was poorly written. It's a mess. The special effects just look horrible. It's just not a very good film. Chris Hemsworth, I thought, was really funny in the movie. But when you watch the film, especially the uh, extended cut, there are so many cringy scenes where I just sit there and just kind of wince, and I'm just like, God, like how could that have made the editing room? And so Paul Feig is blaming the fact that you had Hillary, and he says it right here. This is what he says. I'm going to read his quote. He says, it was just the year where everyone was in a boiling point. I don't know if it was having an African-American president for eight years that fought, that uh, fe- uh, teed them up for something, but they were just ready to explode. By the time in 24, 2015, when I announced it was going to make it, it started. So instead of sitting there and taking personal responsibility for just not making a funny movie, because even he admitted that that first trailer was terrible, and it was. The first trailer for Ghostbusters 2016 was absolute trash. And, and it got so many dislikes because it wasn't funny. Uh, nothing to do with women. It was because the, the movie was just not funny and cringy. So instead of just sitting there and saying, okay, well, I made a bad movie, you know, on to the next one like somebody should do. You know, like a Ron Howard or somebody who has experience and self-awareness would do. Instead, he goes and he blames the political... Like, like wh- think about how stupid that is. Think about how the degree of, of, of avoidance, the degree of narcissism to sit there and blame the presidential election, the political world, on a genre film not doing well. Like, dude, we're talking about one of the biggest franchises ever in the history of films, Ghostbusters which made a lot of money and that's survived the test of time. And you've got this movie that wasn't very good, that most people feel wasn't very good. And if you say it's not very good, it's not because you hate women, it's because the movie's just not funny. And he can't even like, I mean, look at this. He writes, it's crazy how people got nuts about women trying to be in power or trying to be in positions that they weren't normally in, Feig said. It was an ugly, ugly year. Dude, fuck off. Fuck off. Like, this is such, like, I can't believe that, like, I'm just, every time I read this article, and I know some websites are going to, like, or not their websites, some YouTube channels are going to tear this article apart, and it's not just me. It's just like, dude, not everything has to be about woke and, and guys, not everybody who hates this movie hates women. How come Wonder Woman, 
I'm pretty sure Wonder Woman came out in 2016 also, right? Let me think for a minute. I think Wonder Woman was 2016. How come Wonder Woman was so positively received, so beloved in 2016? How come? How come The Force Awakens, which had a female lead, was so beloved? Yeah, people hate it now, but in 2015, when that movie came out, December 2015, everyone loved Force Awakens except for a small number of people. They did. So how come that's okay? And those movies do well, but this movie, who also has a female female leads, doesn't. It's just like like the, the fact that these people actually sit there at night and say, well, I couldn't have made a bad movie, so it has to be the fans. Like, This makes me not want to pay for your movies ever again. This makes me not want to support you ever again. Just because as a person, and I'm, I'm very disappointed because Paul Feig is really good in interviews. If you listen to his interviews, he's a very charming guy. He's a very um, talkative guy. I think that if any of us were to have a conversation with him, it would be a good conversation. He seems like a really interesting and fun person to be around, right, genuinely. And we know that these actors had a good time making this movie, right? They, did, they had a great time making the film. They probably had a blast just making each other laugh and ad-libbing. It was a good time. But the movie, the editing, the execution of it, the script was just poor, and all you have to do is just say, okay, I made a bad movie. Moving on, we'll make a better one next time. And instead, it's this whole, like, well, you know, the people were riled up by women. Dude, Hillary has nothing to do with this movie coming out. Nothing. Nothing to do with it. But and this goes back to my rant about how everything has to be political. Everything, there has to be a reason for everything. It can't just be the simple fact that your movie fucking sucks. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? And it's like, it's like, I understand that we all have an ego and we have to protect ourselves. I get it. I get it. Trust me. But this guy's like in his 50s, dude. You would think that by now he would have said, okay, you know, uh, not every movie I make is going to be a hit. Because it's very hard for a director to have every movie that he ever makes be a hit. I mean, look at, you know, even Francis Ford Coppola, made, you know, even he has a couple of stinkers. Spielberg has a couple of stinkers. Everybody has a couple of stinkers, dude. You know, I'm sorry. But, but but this is the whole, well, you know, men didn't want to go see this movie. Dude, I know plenty of men that went to go see this movie in spite of the bad trailer, and they told me it sucked. And I know plenty of men who went to go see the movie who said it, it didn't suck. Some people like this movie. But I just can't believe it's already it's been four years and he's still pushing this, dude. And it's like, this is the, this is the kind of shit that, like, it, it's just prevalent with these people, these filmmakers, accept the fact that you made a movie people didn't like and move on with your life, dude. We all make mistakes. I've made videos that people don't like and that, and I've tried to make up for it. It happens. So just do that. 